Gemini Sagittarius. Well, if you have Gemini Sagittarius, a sign which stand opposite each other. So usually they will tend to teach each other uh, a lot of uh, about relationship because when a, a sign stands opposite another sign, uh, they trigger the seven house of relationships and partnerships into the, the life of the other person. So usually those signs, the opposites, they say attract and they're very similar on the underlining level, just like cold and hot feels sometimes the same and you cannot distinguish it, you know. Uh, uh, from each other and the same way two opposing signs they look on the outside quite different so Gemini can can look very different uh, can, can they think they're very different from each other but underlining often the Gemini can act a lot of, like Sagittarius or Sagittarius can act a lot like Gemini in some extreme situations and also underlining they're the same they're quite similar uh, but they're here Gemini will be in the life of a Sagittarius ascendant Sun or Moon or Sagittarius would be in the life of a Gemini, Ascendant, Sun or Moon, to teach each other about compromise, to teach each other about equality, about equal give and take in relationships. So they can do this through business partnership. They can do this through, so you have your uh, Sagittarius Ascendant saying there is a Gemini in your life, this person can become your business partner, or can become someone that you do some project together with, that you have to partner with, combine forces, uh, and you have to give equally in the relationship you know you cannot be ordering around if you're Gemini or Sagittarius you cannot order one each other around it's not gonna work you have to equally compromise you have to equally give and receive if you're Gemini Sagittarius if one of the people is giving more in a love relationship for instance doing much more for the other uh, then the relationship is not gonna work because the person if you're Gemini you know that the Sagittarius is in your life to teach you to balance to teach you to you know just like Imagine it's a plank and you have to balance it on top of an axis, you know. This is why they come into each other, uh, into, into each other's life to bring balance. So if, you, if you're Sagittarius and a Gemini comes into your life, you know that life is sending you this person to, in order to balance your life, in order to make it more, uh, how do I say, more moderate as well, not to go to extremes. Balancing is always keeping the middle, you know. So this is what the two signs can teach each other can teach compromise, can teach balance, can teach um, a moderation as well, uh, can teach equal give and take, and honesty in relationships, honesty in keeping promises. Seven houses, the house of promises. It's a contractual house. You say something, you have to do it. You know That's why if you're Sagittarius, for instance, ascendant, and you keep attracting Geminis into your life, well, it's probably because you still haven't learned how to do that, how to keep a promise, how to, once you say something, to, to be loyal to it, to stick to it. Uh, you haven't learned how to compromise enough, you know. So uh, often these are the best relationships and marriages happen between opposing signs. Often I've seen Gemini ascendant people marry Sagittarius sun, moon or ascendant people or be attracted to those people for partnerships, for marriage partnerships because there is something that intrinsically in a person uh, the soul wants to be balanced, wants its other half, and that's why they're attracted to Sagittarius like qualities. The Sagittarius sun or ascendant in particular, and Sagittarius often would attract uh, Gemini, sun, moon, or ascendant person. Again, it creates this balance in the life. It, it, the Gemini person will trigger the desire for marriage, for, for commitment in the Sagittarius person usually. And there can be a lot of tension between these two signs because you know opposite on the surface are different so they can push each other to grow exactly through, through this obvious on the surface difference that there is between them. But eventually, you know, eventually underneath they're similar so that's why they take to each other's ideas and they're willing to make compromise for each other. And uh, uh, you know, even if it's not in relationships like marriage or love relationships, it, it can they can constitute very close friendships when they trigger each other's seven house, uh, or they can be even clients where you have one to one exchange of where you give equally, you pay service and you receive something, or, or you give service and you receive something from the person who is opposite your sign. You know, for this for you it's Gemini or Sagittarius doesn't matter. So they will teach you again equality and fairness in relationship and balance or balance in your own life or balance with other people when you say something keeping that promise this is why these people into each other's life uh, and if you agree with me you can write if you don't agree you can tell me what you think you know and often they can press each other's buttons and upset each other a lot Gemini and Sagittarius especially Gemini ascendant with Sagittarius sun moon or sun 
our Gemini, our Sagittarius ascendant with Gemini Sun Moon, you know. Uh, but again, it's all about growth, and it's all about learning uh, equality and balance in life. Thank you.